Welcome back to Cottage Designs by Erin. Today my design wall is empty, but I'm currently working on a project. I always have a project. I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little pattern. It is by Vintage Blessings, and it's July. They have a pattern for every single month of the year. Okay, I've made the mitten, the pumpkin, and now I'm making the kite. So this is for July. You can buy this pattern at shabbyfabrics.com. Okay, shabbyfabrics.com. Today is May 6th of 2023, and this particular pattern is on sale today for $20. All right, now you have many options when you buy the pattern online. I bought the kit simply because I bought the laser cut kit, which means there was very little cutting to do. You can also buy the PDF pattern download, or you can buy the paper pattern. Uh, for a limited time, they did have, where for I, I think it was $100, you could buy every pattern for every month, which I bought. And I love these little things. They go together in a weekend, and that way then you always have something cute to display every month. I make these for my daughter. She's very fond of them. Okay, the finished size of this is 12 and a half by 18. Once, once you open your kit, all the fabric was in there. It's very nice fabric. It's not super thick. I would say it's a medium weight. The first thing we had to do is cut the background piece. Okay, and this is the fabric that came, look how darling that is, very subtle. It's the fabric that came with the pattern. So the first direction is you cut the background square 13 by 13 inches. All of these pieces on the back ground square were already pre-fused, meaning they had the fusible web on the back. All I had to do is pop them out, iron them down. And so then I went around each piece with a very fine, let me show you on the back. Oop, there you can see, a very fine zigzag. So I've got the kite down and then I did the little kite tails. All right, next you have to do the pinwheel bottom. Every one of these patterns has a pinwheel bottom, which I think is super cute. All right, so you're going, I cut a three inch square. Here is our three inch square. You take two three inch squares, pretty sides kissing, as my home ec teacher used to say, and put them face down. Okay, now I'm gonna move the camera to my hands now you, so you can see what's happening. Okay, so once we get our two pattern pieces together, you take and mark a little diagonal line from corner to corner. Let me get these more. Let me get these matched up better. All right, so we have a diagonal line right down the center. You're now going to take your presser foot and you're going to run it straight down the diagonal. They also have a matching table runner. Oh, shoot. I said that wrong. You don't run it down the diagonal. You run it a quarter inch on either side of the diagonal. Boo boo goof. We gotta fix it. Of course, I can't find my seed marker when I want it. Such is life, right? Um, as I was saying, they have a table runner that matches this, and it is also laser cut. I just bought that online for my daughter to match this, and it was um, $35. Okay, so we're going a quarter inch on either side of our center line. You can also buy these patterns and kits sometimes on eBay. Just look up Shabby Fabrics Kit or Vintage Blessings Kit. All right, now that we have this done, you're going to take your scissors and cut on the ink line that you made. And that is going to give us 
the bottom half of this pinwheel set. I cut out the pansy basket. Uh, it's the May month, the other night, but I have to applique all the pansies on, which will take considerable time. I just had the background done right now. Okay, so here's the bottom half of our pinwheel. We're gonna match it to the top half. since I didn't iron it, I'm going to go ahead and pin it. I loved kites when I was a kid. I wasn't very gifted at working one, but I enjoyed seeing them up in the air. It was very exciting. And my grandsons now love kites. Okay, now let me go ahead and Apologize for my voice today. I have had a serious round of hay fever. I have been so sick. I have extreme allergies. I probably should live in a bubble, honestly. My son in law planted new grass seed outside my daughter's front door and he covered it in hay. Well, <laughs> Every time I go out there, I just about die. So it's not a good situation for me. All right, so here's our beautiful little pinwheel. Now, it's important to read directions because the directions then read to cut this down to four and a half inches. So I have, as usual, my handy dandy cereal box template. I know people think it's crazy, but I don't, I don't buy, uh, I don't spend money on rotary cutters, blades, mats. I don't use any of that stuff. I just go about it the old-fashioned way and it works okay. All right, so now we're going to cut this down. Okay, now we're going to sew the bottom together. So we've got these beautiful little pinwheels. I like pinwheels. I don't know if I want to make an entire quilt out of them or not, but I do think they're cute. The pumpkin kit or pattern, either one. For October of this is Darling. I wish I would have bought the kit. I don't, it's not still available, just the patterns available currently. Because I use my own fabrics to do the pumpkin bit. Oh my, that was it required a lot of thought, a lot of placement, and a lot of thread to applique. Okay, here's that. Now we're gonna put our next one on. Okay, to get, remember, you're going to have one seam go one way and one seam go the other to get these to line up beautifully. I tried to do some of my sewing steps in advance on my videos because people have a very short attention span anymore, and if your videos are too long... They abandon video midway through, and then eBay, or not eBay, YouTube dings you for someone not watching the entire thing. It's awful. All right, so now we have the top of our quilt, and we're going to sew it to the bottom.
These laser cut kits are the way to go because honestly, the precision, the perfection in the edges is amazing. Okay, so here is our little mini quill. We've got it all almost finished. Okay, it's ready to be quilted here shortly. Now, this particular kite has to have a little bit of handiwork done on the bottom because we have to embroider the little kite tail. So let me go ahead and it came with the thread, elbows length. Divide into three strands. How do you know that, Erin? You didn't look at the pattern because embroidery is typically the same all the time. Come on, Thread, let's cooperate. Can't get it in the eye. Okay. Now, I'm going to push through on the back of my fabric like so. I'm going to tie a little knot so I don't lose my thread. Okay, coming back up, I'm going to take a little stitch, back stitch again, you could put this in a hoop if you wanted to, oh, I think it's all that necessary. And then let's see this this particular picture. It's got the the thread going at a little angle to make it look like it's actually moving in the wind, which is cute. Okay. Back stitch again. Keep back stitching. You want Want to eyeball your stitches and try to get them relatively all the same size. I bought the um, of these kits. I bought the January Snowman. I bought the April Easter. Oh my, is it darling? It's super bright. And it's a little duck with an umbrella. Too cute for words. Let's see, it's January, February, uh, March has, they, the old one used to have a uh, pot of gold St. Patrick's Day theme with a, I believe it says a top hat and a pot of gold. April, May, May's the mother, uh, Mother's Day pansy basket. June, hmm, I'm not sure what June is. I know they had a sailboat at one time. This is July, the kite. 
August is darling. It's a schoolhouse. September, they have one pattern that has leaves on it. October is the pumpkin. Not sure what November is. December, they have a um, Santa sleigh with presents. My best friend watches my videos and she says, Erin, I hate it when you talk so much. I said, oh, harsh. I'm sorry. I'm a talker. Just show them. She says, just show them what you're doing. Just shut up. <laughs> you gotta have a, you gotta have true friends to tell you what it is, right? Okay, now I am getting my thread too short and I hate that. All right, so now we're gonna pull through and we tighten a knot on the back and I've got one more little area to go. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to go ahead and continue on. We just got maybe three more stitches is what it's looking like to me. I might make a video on how to do hand embroidery. I do like to embroider. I haven't done it for a long time. It's kind of a nice summer project. I can't, when I'm teaching, I can't get near done what I'd like to do. Thank goodness I'm close to retirement. Okay, if you're asking yourself, how did she get that done so fast? I can tell you I'm cheating. And the way I'm cheating is, there's polka dots on this fabric, and then there's polka dots next to the polka dot. So I'm using the little bitties. I'll show you the little bitty polka dots to gauge how long my stitches are going to be. Okay, here we go. Let me show you up front here. There's See those little bitty, tiny, tiny, tiny polka dots? I'm using those to gauge my stitches. All right, so we have a completed project. Now all we have to do is quilt it. If you're interested, get my camera. I'm so sorry, got my hand on the screen. If you are interested in making this project, buy it at shabbyfabrics.com. Buy the laser cut kit. It's much much easier. Okay, and then um, you're going to cut your background piece to size. You're going to rip off the fusible web and stick down the kite pieces. Make your pinwheels as I showed you. All right, and then to quilt it, it came with, it even came with the, here's the background fabric, and then here's the beautiful binding fabric, okay? So, if you would like to know how to finish quilting this, I have another video on that. If you click on my videos, I have one, it says, let's make the mittens, and that is also the same uh, line, the same Shabby Fabrics line, and I will show you how to quickly quilt that and how to do a cheater's binding which is wonderful. A cheater's binding is when you lay the back, um, you cut the back maybe two inches larger, 
and then you fold it over to the front a couple times and sew it all the way around. So you can watch my video about that. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll have more videos real soon. Thank you.